Gabriela Gomez, silver medalist at the U17 World Championships. Thinking about the silver medal, what does it mean to you to get a medal at the Worlds? I mean, it means a lot. I mean, I worked so hard for this. I mean, I fell a little short. Didn't I felt like I gave it my all, but honestly, after the match, I feel like I did it, and I know I could definitely see myself coming here next year and getting that gold. But that silver medal it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my just not just me, but my family, my training partners, my friends. Everybody, Team USA, my even the girls here, I've only known them for about almost two weeks and I feel like they're family already. So that just shows that I'm here to support Team USA and I'm happy to be a part of it. Does winning a medal elevate your mentality going forward? Do you think it's like a stepping stone? Yeah, it's definitely a stepping stone. It's always two step forward, one step back. So I mean, this was definitely two steps forward. So now I took that step back with that silver medal, but it's still, I'm still elevating in my wrestling career. I mean, I just really like started really, how do I say this? Starting to feel passionate about wrestling since haley has been in my corner because she just brings that extra boost of confidence in me. And with her in my corner today, I still had that confidence in that finals match. It's just mentally, I wasn't in the match. So you really didn't have the fire before working with Haley? I did, but I didn't, I didn't know that I, I knew I had it in me. My dad always told me like, you could be the best in the country. It's just I never believed it. And right now I'm the second, so I know I'm right there. So Haley helped me put that in my brain, my siblings, my coaches, even the coaches here that I've only known for two weeks put that in my brain. So it's just amazing how I came so far. I mean, ever since Fargo last year, I started really liking it. And then Super 32, the showcase, World Team Trials, it just started getting pieces to pieces. So I need one more piece in that puzzle and I'm gonna get it next year. What'd you learn positionally from that gold medal match that you can take moving forward? Definitely keeping my composure a little bit more. I kept my composure, but you could tell in my facial expressions that I wasn't, I was nervous. I was looking at my coach a lot just to know what I should be doing or not. And definitely not relying on the refs. That's a big thing. Um, the first, um, period. Haley told me to stay low, let her come to me, and then I noticed that she was coming to me, but I wasn't doing anything about it. So I said, let's get on her head, and I did frazzle her a little bit. So I feel if I should have done that the whole match, I would have won it. But, you know, it's one step back, so I'm not really worried about it. These are only four-minute matches. I have to think you're excited about the possibility of six-minute matches yeah. when it gets up to, to U20. The, the longer, the better for you, isn't it, as far as match length? Yeah, um, I'm used to wrestling six minutes in the wrestling room. I train that. Um, it's definitely way more time, but you can never rely on the clock either. you got to know what you're doing in the positions and how you're wrestling. So, I mean, that three minutes would have definitely helped me more, but I wrestled not the best. But it, throughout the tournament, I wrestled amazing, and I can definitely take that. There's always going to be one negative, but I want to pull that positive to bring my self-esteem back up. Well, because you medal, I just want to give you this. You got a golden ticket to thank you number one. So uh, congratulations. Show thank that you're a little you. low if you show it off to us there. Perfect. So congratulations. We'll thank see you. you. Who's number one. Thank you.